All right, we're uh, back on site here at Hope Island. We've, we've been on site now for four days. We're just going to have a quick run through and show you the progress that we've made and some of the issues that we've discovered um, and have a chat to Vanessa about the process so far and, and what she's thinking. We'll just, um, we've been finding uh, one thing after another on this job. So like up here, there was a bracket that should have been welded to the steel post that just fell down when we uh, took the window out. So none of the steel's galvanised, it's all rusting. We've, um, we've ended up finding a lot of termite damage. The, uh, as you can see here, this is where the old kitchen was. There's no termite proofing around the penetration in the slab, it's just dirt and uh, a lot of moisture. So lots of areas where termites have been able to enter the home. If you, um, if you have a quick look up here, you can see the, the waterproofing in the shower and the main ensuite Whoa. hasn't uh, been done correctly and over the years, like the last 18 years, everything's been leaking, all the flooring's all rotted out, so they'll all have to be replaced. Whoa. Just have a look in the garage. Let's have a look at the termite damage in the garage. So the tile roof has been sitting on this wall and as you can see from the top plate, there's, especially down the end here, there's not even anything left. Um, termites have been right through it. Yeah, it is, with it having a top, the weight of a tile roof on. Like even the knobs for the garage door, um, like everything's been eaten out by the termites. Uh, this is the old bathroom um, in the house, so um, when we pulled it out, a lot of water damage, all the bottom plates were all rotted out, and then uh, also this bathroom's been leaking upstairs as well, you can see all the water staining on the floor and the, all the mould. We're going to have a look upstairs. Changed a lot since last week. So, um, all the old walls have been ripped out. We've actually started reframing to suit the new configuration. It's amazing what you've done in four days. Yeah, uh, we've been busy. Yeah. So uh, we'll just show you in the main, uh, the old ensuite, all the water damage. See here, all the, the floors just all rotted away where the old shower has been leaking um, over the past, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Oh, it's very soft. It's very, uh, it is so soft. Look at that. It's great. So, all the cladding on the outside of the house is um, rendered blueboard and it's all cracked and it's, it's just been nailed to these treated pine battens that the battens are 800 millimetres apart which is nowhere near standard if, if you have a quick look outside you can see all the cracking that's occurring on all the joints because of the way that's been fixed wow. look at the leads even split yeah and look all the uh, splits and the lead along the tiles Alright, so Vanessa, uh, we've been on site for four days now, and uh, what do you think of the progress and how things are going? Oh, I'm wrapped and I'm really impressed with how quick all you guys work. And it's just amazing to see the amount of damage that I couldn't see underneath the walls, underneath the tiles. Um, and it's really scary to think how many builders aren't doing the right thing and how lucky I am to have such a great builder and 
know that you are doing everything perfectly and that I'm never going to have any problems moving forward. I was really, really shocked at how much damage there is underneath the tiles, under the walls. I knew there was a bit of wet damage, but to see that shower and to think that I could have fallen through that, yeah. um, to see that wet in the kitchen and think termites could have just eaten my entire house out, it is, yeah, it is amazing. Yeah, no, it's quite scary. Like, obviously, we, we did that all that investigation work. Really, the only surprise so far is the termite damage. Uh, like, we knew the showers were leaking because we, we cut holes and we did some investigation work during the uh, quoting process. But um, the, one of the showers was a little bit worse than what we expected when we finally stripped everything. But the termite damage has really only been the big surprise. Like, it, it's all been up high in the walls where we cut a lot of holes down low and we. Um, we didn't see any of that, but yeah, that, that's really dangerous. Like the garage, the roof could have caved in. Um, the tiled roof's been sitting on nothing, so yeah, scary. Good timing. Uh, yeah, it will very come good well. timing. Yeah, and it, I think that's a really good point too. That it's very important that you pay to have a proper quote done, because when you pay a builder to get a quote done, obviously you've done so much work, Dwayne, coming out on site yeah. three or four times cutting holes to investigate what was behind the walls so I know that even though my job has thrown up a lot of surprises it's going to run on budget yeah. and you know that's really important with these kind of things. Yeah definitely. Alright we'll uh, stay tuned and we'll give you another update next week.